An Ashtabula County girl has been living with Lyme disease for 10 years. Now she's making it her mission to spread awareness about the illness. Today, First News reporter Brittany, or today, she traveled to Niles to sit down with First News reporter Brittany Bissell. It all started when Megan Tilton was 12 years old. She went on a weekend trip with her family. I came down with what we thought was the flu. Um, I had a lot of like fatigue, fevers, chills, nausea. Um, felt really weak. My heart started to race really fast. The flu-like symptoms went away, but the heart issues were persistent. For the next three years, Megan went from doctor to doctor, desperate for a diagnosis, not getting any answers. It was a hard few years, you know, knowing that something's wrong with you and like feeling the symptoms, feeling the pain and yet people telling you that there is nothing there. In 2012, Megan was finally diagnosed with Lyme disease. She wants people to know how an early diagnosis could have changed everything for her. When it has that long to, you know, the infection can grow and spread in your body and there's nothing trying to combat it, um, that just gives it free reign in your body. And that, I think, is what caused a lot of my issues. Um, I have a lot of other conditions now as a result of it, a lot of like autoimmune issues. Megan hasn't been able to walk for two years. Dr. Elena Frid is a Lyme disease specialist in New York City. She says a tick can be attached to you for only a couple minutes and still transfer a bacterial infection. When you do see a tick, you want to remove it as fast as possible, um, so don't leave it in. Uh, and, uh, the best way is to take uh, tweezers, a sharply pointed tweezers, uh, get uh, as close as you can to the head, pull up gently without squeezing the head, and wait for the tick to let go. Dr. Frid says six to eight weeks after exposure is the best time to get tested. You can also send the tick off to a lab to get checked. Brittany Bissell, WKBN 27 First News.